Hello everyone. So we've gotten some rumors lately, insane rumors, claiming that Resident Evil 1 is getting a remake. And you might be thinking, RE1 already got a remake, you'd be correct. But this is going to be much different if this is to be believed. So this is coming from a few places, but the main most detailed source for this I think comes from user Biohazard Declassified, receiving the info from an anonymous source. So I wasn't familiar with this guy, and I know it's an anonymous source, so it's like, yeah, roll your eyes, right? But apparently this guy has been right about multiple Resident Evil things in the past, especially RE8. Apparently he was correct about pretty much everything he said about Resident Evil 8, so, so I've heard at least. But even so, I'll always take these things with a grain of salt. So let's look at the details that he shared about the game. So he says, the game will be more slower pace than RE2 Remake. RE2 Remake was already pretty slow, honestly, but I guess that makes sense since our original RE1 is like very very slow pace probably more slow pace than re2 original i imagine each zombie will have their own unique model due to the small amount of enemies in the game that sounds really cool and if the game is slower pace then i can definitely see there being less enemies more bullets required to take out re1 zombies than re2 remake quoted as bullet sponges okay again this does make sense if there is less enemies but i'm gonna be real with you guys the zombies in re2 remake were already bullet sponges i'm not sure if i like that to be honest maybe it won't be that bad i don't know we'll have to see because i didn't beat re1 but from what i played uh i don't think there's much reason to kill zombies outside of just having to deal with them again when you're backtracking so maybe it won't be that bad if they're actually bullet sponges crimson heads will return oh no this is controversial and i completely get why because my god the crimson heads in re1 made me want to smash my fucking controller to pieces i hate them with a passion i'm serious if you aren't familiar with crimson heads um how i remember them working is if you kill a normal zombie and you don't burn their bodies with kerosene that you can find throughout the game i think uh they have either a chance to become a crimson head or they will definitely become one if enough time passes and the crimson heads are just way stronger and way faster zombies and they're red hence why they're called crimson heads i don't remember if it's guaranteed or not uh someone can let me know in the comments if anyone remembers but yeah fuck crimson heads sorry to all the crimson head fans out there <laughs> okay the next thing is that re1 lore will be explored further this sounds amazing. Because RE1 was the start of the franchise, I don't think everything was in place yet. Like, I think they were kind of just creating the story as they went to some extent, but since they have so many Resident Evil games at this point after RE1, I think fleshing out the lore would be incredible. They could probably make it flow a lot better with the later games. So the next thing says, a different third person camera will be used. I assume this means that it'll be an over the shoulder camera uh, and not fixed camera angles. And I think a remake on the RE engine with the fixed camera angles would be unnecessary anyway, because at that point, I feel like you should just go play the old one, uh, the old remake. I think it'll be really interesting to see how they handle all these areas and, and uh, enemies in third person. That sounds insane and also terrifying. <laughs> I'm really not looking forward to the fucking 4K ultra realistic giant spiders if this game is real pray for me. No more pre-rendered backgrounds. So this is a given. I mean, pre-rendered backgrounds aren't really a thing anymore unless something is very stylized. Uh, they worked wonders back in the day, but there's no real need for them anymore in a game that's going for a realistic approach to visuals. So that's all the details we have so far. I really hope this is real, and personally, I think it is. Um, but people are saying this is a 2026 release date, which is actually Resident Evil's 30th anniversary. So that actually makes a lot of sense uh, for them to remake the first game uh, on the anniversary. I think that makes a lot of sense. And if that release date is accurate, then that probably means we're going to get this before RE5 Remake. And if that's the case, then I'm going to be a little butthurt because I really want to see RE5 Remake. But hey, if this has to come first, I guess I'm fine with that. Seriously, I am. But yeah, that's about it. Let me know if you guys think this is real. I know some people look at the anonymous sources like, here we go again. But I think this does make a lot of sense, like pretty much everything about it. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.